So, well, this is a Debian Science Buff. I have not prepared a lot of stuff because it's um, a common event to get some input. I just have prefer prepared my usual graphs. Who is the Debian Science team? It is um, it lists the people who are uploading packages which are now considered as Debian Science. And um, well, these are the people you, these are just the first names. You will know them. One, two are the room. Somebody else? Since Sylvester and me are listed there? No. Then we had the PKV Skycom group, which is more of a legacy thing. I think it's not really existing anymore. We should m probably merge also the graphs to make some real image. The, the thing was in, in 2006 or seven th there was another group created which is basically the same things and nobody was aware who is what and doing what and so we somehow merged this. This is about the discussion on the Debian science user list. There are some other people showing up somehow which is fine because um, some people are discussing more than providing code, but this is also valuable input. This is a Debian Science developer mailing list where we talk about actual packaging issues. Here's also Lucan Nussbaum. I think he is more here because of his QA work than actually doing something. And it would be good if <laughs> if he would reach that the QA people are not showing up on the on the top ten people. It would be nice that QA is something not so important anymore. And I know Matthias Klose is, is the same. He's not in the room, but he's frequently criticizing Debian Science. It would be nice. Criticizing is fine, but he could be a little bit more nice, more friendly. So, same for the Skycom mailing list. These are the bug hunters, people who are fixing bugs in Debian Science. It would be also nice if there are some more people here. And Skycom packages also back hunters. And the commits to the Debian Science VCS. This more or less match to the uploads. And in PKG's PKG Skycom. Well, and I would like to repeat my slide from the morning, what I understand is a team. It's just waking up in the morning and realizing that somebody else had solved your problem from yesterday. And this is, um, I have um, observed this frequently in Debian Med team and in science we have a lot of packages and a lot of people who are working in parallel, which is a sign that um, Debian science is some kind of umbrella for a lot of scientific stuff. My vision would be that we could a little bit split these sciences in topics like mathematics, physics, electronics, and so. And s science is left over for some general things like um, graphing data, publishing, and something like this. Well, here are some uh, packages in some topics. We have packages from chemistry, we have packages from electronics, and engineering, geography, and so forth, and so on. And I had made this graph um, somehow. Well, Debian Science packages, uh, packages exist since 2009, and so the development over four years is not that um, uh, visible like for, for Debian Mates for 10 years. But what I'm missing is a little bit the, the increasing tendency here. We are kind of stagnating. Um, I will not say it's good or bad, I'm just saying it's a fact that it's more or less the same number with the exception here of geography, but I think um, the point is rather that that I s have was sitting down and adding the geography packages to the tasks and not that we have more packages. It was just a matter of maintaining the, the tasks. Well, this is um, um, the no, no, I mean uh, what? Yeah, what? What does it mean? Yes, the question is um, 
this direction is clear. That are the, the, the topics, the meta package, and this is are the releases of the Debian science. This is Debian science 1.0. This is Debian science say 0 .9, uh, Debian science 0 0.9. Debian science 0.8. Also, the the meta package releases of Debian science. This one? Okay, now it works. No, the point is that on the on the um, topic axis, yeah. you see chemistry, electronics, and yeah. something in the middle. I cannot interpolate chemistry and electronics to give a valid uh, topic. <laughs> well, it is science. We have Debian science, and it is assembly of some sciences. You know? Yeah, but <coughs> I well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, okay, yeah, that, that's ah, yeah, 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 okay. okay. It is, <laughs> yeah. I, I have just shown the, the the tasks which are which have a lot of packages. Okay. Yeah, th this is okay. You are lucky in this one. Yeah, the one with the peak is mathematics. Okay. It's okay. Oh. Yes, yes. <laughs> you're <laughs> you're losing. What's what's the problem? Yeah, okay. <laughs> so this is a comparison with Debian Meet where I see this um, some kind of development that we get more. It's just, um, but if, if I draw a cut here, it's probably also quite similar. Well, um, in recent DevCons, we had a wiki page which, which has the title Problems to Work On. And I would like to continue with this. We can also work in Gobi, which can be done like this. Uh, install Gobi Infinote, gobi-c, gobi.debian.org, and you will find the document, which I have also opened here. And here is also the wiki page with the problems we, we should discuss here. I will open this also in the browser. Oh, I should have preferred this better. She's in wine party, okay. So it's it's an always burning topic. We have uh, we want to create BibTeX files, and um, historically there were some people who are providing directly BibTeX files. We had some stuff in Debian copyright. We had some um, Debian slash bib files, and we have the Debian upstream file. The Debian upstream file is what. Um, currently is implemented. And um, I don't know how much it is used. Uh, the result is what we can do. These, these Debian upstream files contain uh, um, scientific publication information and I'm importing this into UDD. And no, oops, badly, badly prepared, sorry. And from UDD, I'm generating a PDF file which um, shows all the pub publications information we have in, in Debian packages. So I announced this in, in on the mailing list one year ago or so. And um, is anybody using this? Get, you get the mic? The PDF is not a very uh, nice format for text, in my opinion. Well, it, it's just to display what we have. This is just to check the result. I'm, I'm, using, I'm importing um, plain text from, from these upstream files. Put them in UDD. That's, that's what I want to do. And just to see if it works, if all the um, literature can be converted to a BibTeX file, 
which can be processed by tech. This is auto-generated just, just to verify that it works. Okay. The uh, PDF is just some right. It would test be case. potentially useful to have a, an HTML export as well. Of the yeah, if you know a way from LaTeX to, to uh, HTML. Yeah, I guess tech for ht might work, but yeah, that's always a, a minefield to, yeah. to get into. Any this, volunteer this for the patch? Not so good. Pandoc, 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 Pandoc. Jonas volunteers. Ah, great. You so you don't need to speak if you volunteer, so it's... I got the mic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, do, do you want to use it? I, it oh, I know it works. Pandoc, that was the only word I wanted to say. Pandoc. Pandoc is the tool that can convert uh, and include the uh, this, uh, bibliographic yeah, thing in, into HTML. We, we have I, yes, I am a volunteer. We have a bibtech file and you can do something with it. Thank you. Fine. The BibTech file is also in the same location. I can resend the, the mail about the, the location and the UDD query on the mailing list. And then, are you reading Debian Science mailing list? Why not? <laughs> yes. I send it to you. Then future, te future tense. Yes, I will read the mailing list. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's great. But uh, finally, I, I think the. The main use for for the publications is is um, rather the the task page. So, um, we have um, I don't know if maybe on the Debichem you can read it, see it as well. Blends.debichem.org. Debichem. They are making also use of this. Yes, yes, they are using it. The main use of the publication is currently on the task pages where it is um, displayed here to to make sure that, that upstream developers of the software get some extra re reward and and we have also this please register thing so the main thing about um, putting these citations somewhere is to to ensure that the upstream authors get some extra Google hits also for their citation and see that Deb Debian is friendly to them. This is the main thing. I have no no other application for, for this. Don't know if, if you see some other applications. That means, in other words, uh, do you agree that we just stick to this upstream file and, and remove this to do topic um, from the from the wiki it's what do you think it's it's done now we are happy with this david is this okay also well so if there are no opinions then it's okay so i mean big tech files are helpful i guess but i mean is it hard to just get some uh, parser that creates a BibTeX yeah, code block. I mean, that would probably be the easiest. Then we can yes, have one this file this and... This is what I said. I'm importing this. Uh, each package has a Debian upstream file. This Debian upstream file is imported into UDD. And there exists a query that generates one BibTeX file, which is no, not installed, but it's there. You can, you can get it. Okay. I, I was more thinking about if I work on my laptop and then just start to yeah. write my thesis, whatever. I'd like to get all those yes. files generated on my laptop. I mean, I can, of course, just pull that from the HTTP. You, you can pull this, or you can, we can even package this, but I don't think that's maintainable, because it's, it's in flux. If every new upload could bring a new publication. Yeah. No, I would package the, the tool that creates from the install software a BibTeX file. If that's easy, but that was just an idea. Yeah, this is uh, a simple shell script, uh, two lines of, uh, well, the SQL query is a little bit longer, but uh, yeah, th it's not really a package. You can log into Elliot and just do the query. It should be a little bit better documented, but yeah. I mean, right. So the point is, I mean, I guess it's interesting to just get everything you have what you have installed, but yeah. we don't install the upstream files 
on the inside the packages. So you always have to query UDD. Otherwise, or do we right? So you could install the upstream file into the package and then just crawl your local file system yeah, but for in, them. In and the upstream, uh, those file, the upstream files are JAML files. This is not a big Yeah, sure, case. you always have to generate something out of it, yeah. of course, again. But I mean, to do it locally. Otherwise, you yeah. always need the network. Mm. Why don't we like install them in user share doc or something? We, we question. Can do. Yeah. We we could agree to say well um, write a dep helper science or something like this, which uh, looks for upstream files and moves it to user share science um, package name also. To put in the wiki. Oops. Oh. Yeah, or something like this. But it's actually these JAML files are not yet usable that way. You also need a script what um, finally process everything what what's there into a BibTeX file or so. But it's also easy to create. Could you get to pass on those uh, GitHub files? Yes. Um, Deha science would be development time that you make sure to include something into the package. And what I see also what you were talking about is uh, at runtime you could optionally install something that was as a trigger to packaging trigger that you generate, extracts from your file system the, uh, the BibTeX data. And store it somewhere. Yeah, you can. That is, that is live. You can use a trigger which, which always updates a BibTeX file. Yeah, sure. every time yeah. it has a BibTeX, yeah. uh, 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 these demo files, it will regenerate the BibTeX. The question is, which other parts of the upstream file are interesting? If your uh, Deha Science just put, uh, just generates the BibTeX file at uh, package generation time and puts just the bibtash file in the binary package, then uh, no triggers, no nothing, you ha just have the information you need. Yes, if you, if you want to, make, uh, to limit yourself to only have it w working for bibtech, yes. If you instead, at, at the user space or the, the runtime uh, tool, make it a .d files so that you could hook into it and uh, do other things than bibtech extraction. I'm not volunteering for this, no. <laughs> I'm not the one who said that it was two lines of shell script. Well, the, the extraction of all the possible is, is actually, I posted this shell script. You're no, I'm volunteering not for the trigger. I'm, my, I might do it, but I do not declare it. But getting all the, uh, the, the citations in, in Debian we have is, is just done. It's, it's posted on the mailing list. It's the UDD query. So, but, um, and actually the, the upstream files currently uh, contain uh, these references and, um, better? They contain the references and um, they might contain um, something like, from the DBXM team I have seen this, oops. Oh, she's in wine. This this is too dominant today. What we also have in the upstream files is um, where you should register register for for the software. It's um, the problem is um, some upstreams. Um, are depending from from the number of users that are using their software, and so they put usually on their web page, even if it's free software, a button, uh, please register, and we to let us know how many people are using software. 
And when building a Debian package, we somehow circumvent the system. And um, so we try to, to help them to get the data anyway. What we can provide is um, um, the popcorn values, so, but mostly these are not very reliable. So it would be better if people will re register. This is some data we uh, can use for Debian science in upstream. And um, I think, Michel, what, what are you using as well? You, you have another data point, I think. If not, I'm. Well, you are just. Uh, you are using. Ah, we, we can donate. Donation. We have also donation to, to, to the way where you can donate something. These are three. Um, data entries which wa are interesting in the Debian upstream files for Debian science. Otherwise, I don't know. Well, no, the debug reports are not in the Debian upstream files. Uh, the upstream files are, um, they, it might be a place where uh, to point to an, uh, an upstream bug tracker. An upstream sets up a uh, certain certain URL where you can inject their bugs. But uh, Debian upstream files only um, try to collect data which is related to upstream. And the bug reports are not upstream. These are this Debian stuff. So this um, is not... not uh, and, and I also think we in Debian science we have basically so specific software that they do not the authors do not mind about setting up a, a bug tracker system, a bug tracking system. I've quite rarely seen it. I have seen it, but it's it's rare. So what else? Yeah this this comes up um, from time to time uh, and yeah. Well, I I have a comment on the upstream stuff. Um, recently, I saw uh, well, we can have these publication information, and sometimes we have the URL to the uh, printed version or something. Yes. And what I recently saw is that apparently there's this uh, open archive initiative or something where you can put archive like with an X or whatever. And, like, um, preprints of PDFs which are open access and freely available mm. and it seems to be some kind of initiative and we should look at that so if there is a paper and it's behind a paywall we yeah. might rather uh, point to the uh, open archive initiative or what I'm, I'm not quite sure what the, the thing is right now but yeah that's yeah, a good thing because um, sometimes you have not this um, this tech which is called EPUB I can show you, by the way, I can show you the, the pos potential fields. Upstream metadata, here's a wiki page, syntax fields. This is a reference field and you have a um, JAML formatted files and you can insert multiple entries for the references, and all are regarded. On the on the task page is only the, only the first one. Registration repository, yeah, screenshots. This is screenshot is a general thing. Donation. Yeah, bug submit and bug database. This, these are the points where if there is an upstream bug tracker, but it's also not very science specific it, you you should if you know this you should insert it in debian upstream files who is using debian upstream files in his packages it is not that common there is also a dep about these upstream files so um Back to the topic, as I said in the beginning, um, do we need either more fine-grained tasks, more fine-grained in the sense that mathematics is quite um, a large piece, or electronics is quite a large piece, or 
to we rather want to create a new blend, which is, uh, as I said in this morning, um, quite some work, but potentially work worth doing it if if there are some three, four, five people working on the same field. We have quite a lot of people in uh, astronomy, um, and so do you think? Do you? personally think you would consider running your own blend and making some subset what is assembled in science? No. So you don't have the, the you don't want the real fun of it, out of it. Well, nobody can force you to volunteer. Well, the next topic would be Make better use of debt tags. Who is debt tagging his packages? Oh, there are really two and a half, three persons, or four. Yes. Um, <coughs> the problem I was discussing with my Google Summer of Code student who is rewriting the meta package stuff, we really want to merge the debt tags um, with the blends techniques. And the problem is we, we have no, no match between uh, all the depth tags. It might work for science, but I doubt that, that every task file is covered by an, an according depth tag file, or depth tag, and um, we also can't rely on, on, on the fact that packages are really depth tagged. So do we have any idea how we could increase this? Should we make some more or better depth tags, or it is fine as it is. is, is there, are you using depth tags if you're not taking it? There are ways to install via depth tags or so. As always, if, if it comes into categorization of packages, all the people say, well, there's depth tags. Yes, there's depth tags, but if it comes to the usage of depth tags, uh, yes, uh, I don't know. So why do we have depth text if nobody is using it? You really don't really feel need. Yeah. The problem is for me that users who are new to Debian don't find their stuff. They are not uh, not aware of stuff. I I personally think the, that the, the blends techniques uh, as we are using are quite helpful to say. Um, What's inside Debian? I just um, created some stuff just to tell my colleagues what's there. And DevTex is an alternative way, and, and I think we, we don't care uh, good enough for our users to telling them what's there. We are putting, we are putting one package after the other into the archive because we need it ourselves. That's okay, this is the main motivation. But we fail in telling our users um, what's there and how they could uh, profit from this work. Um, one, one example of, of, of uh, how depth text is real, uh, real use is uh, if you try to install the package Go Play. Go Play, yeah. Go Play was uh, originally written for, for games, so that you could find out, f find the, the kind of games that you like. Mm -hmm. And it is pulling off, uh, it's, uh, depending on the, the depth tagging of games, so you can say, well, give me all the board games that is currently installed on my system, and then it also links up with the with the screenshots. Yes, screenshots is maybe not the kind of thing that is most funky and interesting for for science people, <laughs> I well can I imagine. But, but but for some thi thi things it might be for visualizations. You might be interested in what kinds of examples of, of visualizations could this tool produce. But but st even if you're not using this part of it, then the navigation is very user friendly and it was hacked into uh, supporting also navigating educational stuff go learn uh, and i don't remember the other ones but this has been split into the you have uh, multiple use cases angles into the debian archive of packages and ob obviously it could be used for for debian science also for, for science related packages I but only shows those that are tagged up so that you can browse the tagged packages so even if you don't need it some of your users might need it. Is there anybody who could fix JavaScript that is doesn't blink? <laughs> so this is these are is are some use cases for 
for screenshots in in uh, in science, right? I don't have an idea why this is blinking. This is I'm not a JavaScript programmer. I just took this over. So. Yeah, use use one of the uh, image display libraries. They they look overkill, but th some of them are very lightweight and. Uh yeah, this is also some library, but probably the wrong one. I, um, I, it, it's not my code. It's just uh, some. Uh, but perhaps we we talk together. <laughs> <laughs> so, but just uh, I think we could also. Uh, I think there is more than Go Play. There is also Go yeah, something. There are multiple. I, I yeah. don't remember the. Uh yeah. I actually um, recognize the the, okay, the, the the importance of have, having things tagged. And, and actually, uh, when I remember, I try to tag my my packages. I still I I, I never felt the need of of uh, resorting to dev tags myself to solve the problem I had. But maybe I was just lucky or too unlucky. Uh, I I have to say that there is a thing I'm somewhat concerned for about, uh, which is uh, the fact that um, beside, of course, the the, the package, the, the main package metadata that we keep uh, in 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 the main archive uh, along with the okay Debian uh, uh, control files, we have quite a few uh, other databases of metadata about Debian packages which are mm, more or less uh, independent. There is depth text, there are information um, contained in the Debian blends and uh, uh, probably others that do not come to my mind at this moment. And uh, I, th I think it'd be, uh, it, it, would, um, it would be easier if all this set of metadatas were not c um, collected on different websites with different interfaces, different uh, um, way to modify them, uh, but if um, there was some uh, okay sort of a better way to uh, access to all of them uh, with a consistent uh, user experience, uh, I think that uh, this would um, uh, enhance a lot the um, the usability of this kind of metadata. Yeah. Well, we have actually not so many, but we have two methods, and. Um, I don't regard these two methods as competing because uh, one thing you can't approach with uh, depth text, you can't list um, not yet available packages, which uh, the blend stuff can do. We have some, I should probably switch to the Debian made stuff, but it, it's, uh, I, I just know it better. Um, um, we, we are listing stuff which is um, just in our SVN or in new, right? These packages are in new. And you can't depth tag something what is in new, right? And we are um, listing something which is just in version control system. Um, you can't work with this. So um, this is one reason why we can't use depth tags exclusively, right? But um, what we could do is... Um, to say, well, if there is a depth tag, there is no requirement to put this in the task file, but we could say, well, meta use depth tag something, and this could also work uh, with, with the, the blends framework. This would be your common interface. But um, to come back to your point, you say you don't depth tag, you use, don't use task files because you, you are confused. Would you would you use one if you are there would be only one system? I wasn't speaking, uh, uh, I wasn't speaking only for myself. Yeah, okay. Um, okay. I yeah. personally, I know about yeah. dev tags and blends. Yeah. And in that, in my case, yeah. it's just that I never happened to feel the, the need of it. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think that in general, um, I w and, and well, and as a uh, as a developer, uh, I would be um, more motivated uh, to uh, contributing to this uh, this uh, uh, this metadata repositories. If uh, um, okay, it would be I don't know how to, uh, if I, I didn't have to uh, um, understand again how 
one specific metadata yeah. service works every time I need yeah. to. Uh, for well, example, I'm, I'm not I, I'm not push a new package to yeah, the yeah, bin yeah, archive yeah, every day. Okay. Yeah. So if I do it av after s six months from the, from the last one, of course I have to at least uh, check again the help files, the mm -hmm. guidelines uh, to um, okay remind me what uh, what am I supposed to actually do. And if this requires uh, um, going to a few different uh, web pages, to a few different services, uh, because they, they are independent, they ship, uh, they're, okay, they're independent one, one from each other, uh, that's more difficult. Yes, but... Uh, and, as a use, and the yeah, same yeah. thing as a user, although it, it's not specifically, uh, it, it doesn't specifically happen to me. I agree with you, but... Uh, what about if you just send an email to Debian Science List? I have uploaded a package in the which would fit in the scope electronics, physics, and please add it for me to the uh, task. It is okay for you? You don't need to read any, send an email, and I will put those two packages into the task file and it's done. This maybe, would work. Uh, maybe it is. Um it's still, uh, okay, what I'm mainly, mainly concerned about is having to do a, a different uh, thing for each, um, for each different context in which I have to operate. For example, if I have to push um, a science package, maybe I have to write to Debian Science mailing list. If I have to, to push another package for another team, uh, maybe the, the um, uh, the workflow there is different and instead of writing an email, they, uh, for example, ask me to go on a website and add the, 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 uh, my package name to, the, to a to-do list. Another team may ask... Uh, no, 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 it's not, not that, no, it's not that fractional. Mm -hmm. It's it just... Maybe, well, maybe it's not, but, um, okay, the, the point is uh, having something that easily uh, reminds you of that uh, without requiring you to check uh, a, a lot of documentation just to find the, the, the single yeah, line that, tell, that tells you the single thing to do. Well, I think you, you describe it more complicated than it really is. Um, I don't know. Do you have an answer? Jonas? Probably so it also depends on the fact that I never even thought at uh, yes. writing to, the, to some mailing list to... But what I'm uh, doing to, is to I'm watching VN, the WNPP. If people are... Um, Submitting a WNPP uh, um, uh, or ITP bug uh, about something that sounds scientific. I always write to this person. Would you please consider it to maintain it into Debian Science Team or something like this? And in what tasks you would think it would fit best, or in what tasks? Yes, and I, I just add it. I just I'm just doing all the work, but I need the information because I can't. I can't really um, f follow everything. And I have not even the competence to, to follow this, this stuff. So if I don't know if in what field you are working... I think... Uh, just uh, could, could you please introduce yourself and say in what field you are? Okay, um, it's a bit complicated now because um, I've, I'm here, I'm, I, I'm not maintaining any packages in Debian Science, although I'm considering, uh, I'm, I'm considering this. Also because um, until now, my, the main package I, I was working on, along with it, its long list of dependencies, was GeoGebra, which is an educational, which actually related to Debian Science, but I was maintaining it under the Java team. That's and it, it is an educational software for um, mathematics, geometry, like the like, um, powered up um, re rewriting of the Capri software that probably is a bit more famous. Yes. And uh, unfortunately, it uh, recently became uh, non-free. At least later, uh, last um, uh, versions are not free anymore. And upstream, uh, I, I, I wrote upstream, but they were not very interested in to make it free again. Uh, so I am, OK, most of the packages uh, I was working on at the moment are more or less dead, are not of my interest anymore. Because I, I, it, there was just uh, dependencies for GeoGebra, which is not going further anymore. So it's difficult for me to say what I'm working on. Uh, I'm considering to start a, a bit more working in, in, in Debian Science. I'm, I study mathematics, for, for the record. And, uh, but, okay, the point is that uh, uh, there are, uh, 
I think that most of the difficulty or not of the, of the things you're, you're saying mostly depend on whether uh, one is, uh, um, has the habit of, of working on that or not. Mm. If, uh, okay, if you're one, uh, if, if you're um, working on some, uh, on, on your, on, say, Debian Science Blender uh, once every week or even more, you're used to, to old procedures uh, and all the things you have a complete workflow in mind. My experience as a Debian developer, unfortunately, is that the amount of free time that I have varies a lot um, during the well, year, for example. Yeah. So maybe there are some months in but which I'm, I'm, I'm I sorry. cannot... Uh, I'm sorry if I'm interrupting. It's, it's not so much what you need to do. You can feel free to cope to every team. I just want to... Uh, um, we, we don't uh, fight for for people that they put their... Uh, no, no, I, I wasn't... Uh, yeah. No, I mean, I if you if you stick to the Java team, do your usual maintenance, but just give us a signal. This package is interesting for this task and this task. We okay, insert it, and you are done. There is nothing else to do. You are maintaining your packages. But if you want to see your package in a context with other packages, which fit somehow, and you see the whole picture inside Debian, and you want to show your colleagues, um, well, I'm maintaining this, and these other packages fit, and you see them all assembled on one back web page. I think this is something what interests people, and yet then you oh, can yeah, yes, convince people. Of course it is. So I wasn't denying that. Mm -hmm. I may. Thank you. Um, this Go Play tool actually does include a Go Science uh, facet. Yeah. So there's right. seven different uh, alternatives to Go Play, and one of them is Go Admin, another Go Learn, and then there's Go Office and Go Science. Yeah. And if I take Go Science and say that I want to show uh, type mathematics, mm -hmm. then there's a whole pile, there's a lot, a lot of mathematics things, and one of them is GeoGebra. So specifically for your case, you can just lean back and relax. <laughs> Someone else has done the in the market for you. Yeah. So. so. Studying, uh, studying of documentation is finished for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for your <laughs> <Yeah>. contributions. <laughs> so uh, the discussion about remembering how to do stuff for Debian science or, I mean, not so much enforcing team policies as reminding people of, of things we're trying to do as a team uh, made me think about a discussion we've been having on the Perl team of making a team-specific Lintian profile. Now, I'm not volunteering for this, but uh, so if somebody likes, uh, you know, thinks, thinks that that would be valuable, uh, then I don't know, we could discuss it further. But I just wanted to toss that out there because it, it's an interesting idea to me because I'm working on a lot of different teams and you know, most of them don't have uh, an upstream file or, or whatever. So, uh, it, or it could be, hey, uh, I see you're packaging a new package, <laughs> like Clippy, right? So, so uh, a command line based Clippy. So, uh, I see you're packaging a new package. Would you like to send Andreas an email about uh, the yeah. test file or something? Anyway. So, I think time is close to over. Any any other comments since? So I conclude that we have some some DH signs. It was also somewhere way below on my to-do list, but um, volunteers are perfectly welcome. And um, everything else is um, not really changed. Uh, apropos Lintian, we, we, we wanted to write something about this uh, Debian upstream files. You can check the references if they... This, this is in, in Lintian task, but it's also general. This is not, not really science specific. But uh, something with... Li is there somebody who has ever written a Lintian test and can do this? No. Uh, I would have to read the documentation how to write Lintian text and tests. <laughs> <laughs> I can I can help yeah. you write a Lintian test. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, thank you everybody for for attendance. We I think we are sticking to the science topic for today somehow, and we can keep on discussing discussing all the DevConf. Right. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>